I don't think it is very useful to speculate on what God might, or might not, be able to do. Rather, we should examine what he actually does with the universe we live in. All our observations suggest that it operates according to well-defined laws. These laws may have been ordained by God, but it seems that he does not intervene in the universe to break the laws, at least, not once he had set the universe going. The world is evolving and so is the universe around us. NASA's James Webb Observatory Telescope is providing us a fresh perspective on the cosmos. Scientists are discovering unexpected objects far from our universe taking us back in time to the beginning of the cosmos. The Deep Space Telescope has discovered six huge galaxies that existed between 500 million and 700 million years after the Big Bang. In this video, we will discuss how James Webb Telescope is making astonishing new discoveries that are changing our current beliefs about the genesis of galaxies. Before we dive deep into the discoveries of James Webb Space Telescope, let's look at how it started. Webb was the result of years of labor by NASA scientists and engineers as it was launched on Christmas Day in 2021. Since then, the James Webb Space Telescope or JWST has revealed amazing new information on galaxies, planets, stars, and a variety of other fascinating cosmic phenomena. Within days of the telescope becoming online in late June 2022, researchers found thousands of new galaxies that were more distant and ancient than any previously known ones, with some of these galaxies being more than 150 million years older than the oldest galaxy identified by Hubble. Webb revealed its amazing initial photographs in July, with the aid of the infrared telescope, giving us a window into the past. Webb, which is marketed as the replacement for the venerable Hubble Space Telescope, is also setting new standards for scientific enthusiasm. The telescope uses infrared light to examine the universe because this wavelength is undetectable to the human eye, and is able to pick up the feeble light emitted by old stars and galaxies. The observatory can literally look back in time to around 13.5 billion years ago by gazing into the faraway universe. With all new data, scientists are reconsidering how galaxies started and evolved. According to the prevailing idea, galaxies started out as little clouds of stars and dust that developed through time. However, with Webb, for the first time, we peered into the very early universe without knowing what we would discover. With the first high-resolution photos from the Webb telescope, the observing team was shocked to observe that the galaxies, which appeared as enormous points of light, they were so shocked that they believed their interpretation of the facts was flawed. According to the scientists, this revelation is so unexpected that it truly poses difficulties for science. So much so that, it casts doubt on the theory of early galaxy formation as a whole. Few astrophysicists believe that, by capturing a spectrum image of the galaxies, which includes dividing light into different wavelengths to characterize various elements and gauge the true distance of the galaxies, it is possible to learn why the galaxies expanded so swiftly. Light from other worlds, orbiting stars, far beyond our own. It's astounding to me when I read this. The president spending time to talk to us about Webb and roll this out to the world, uh, quite, quite satisfying. This is how we learn where we came from in a very real sense, how our own galaxy formed, how our own solar system and our sun and our planets formed. It is worth mentioning that thanks to the spectroscopy data, a closer examination of the galaxies and their amazing size would be possible. Astrophysicists predict that the spectrum will reveal their actual size and distance from us. Funny thing is, though, this wasn't even close to being at the top of the list of things we hoped to learn from James Webb. Interestingly enough, the telescope is able to gather enough light from celestial objects, such as newborn stars and exoplanets, to show their composition and motion through space. This information is already beginning to shed light on the atmospheric makeup of planets hundreds of light years away from Earth, providing clues as to whether or not they would be capable of supporting life as we know it. The discovery of pillars of creation in the Eagle Nebula with Hubble Space Telescope has long been termed as one of the major discoveries of all time. However, the spectacular clouds surrounding the structure were not visible to the telescope, which only detects visible light. Nonetheless, it has now been captured by Webb's infrared imaging in the form of many protostars. These clusters of dust and gas, each many times larger than our solar system, appear as tiny red dots against the smoky background of the pillars. 
Another amazing upgrade made possible by JWST is the brilliance of Phantom Galaxy photographed with Webb's infrared camera. The galaxy's beautiful spiral shape and its dispersion of stars, with arms reaching outward from a radiant center show structures that resemble fibers made of heat-emitting dust and gas. The Hubble Space Telescope and Webb photos have also been combined to create a stunning composite image that highlights parts of the galaxy's optical and infrared views. The composite image was produced by researchers at the European Space Agency as a part of the PHANGS International Project, which uses the Webb, Hubble, and a number of ground-based telescopes to take infrared pictures of 19 nearby star-forming galaxies. JWST was designed to view the universe's furthest galaxies and the amazing telescope has already done so successfully. The four galaxies that have been formally observed by the telescope are also the oldest galaxies dating back to almost 13.4 billion years ago when the universe was roughly only 350 million years old. Researchers determined the galaxy's ages as part of the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey. By examining data from the telescope's near-infrared spectrograph to determine how quickly the galaxies were departing from it. The lengthening of light wavelengths caused by galaxies as the universe expands is measured by their redshift. The highest redshift ever measured was 13.2 for them. Thanks to Webb, the most investigated planet outside of our solar system is currently one orbiting a star in the constellation Virgo. Named as WASP-39b, the planet is almost 700 light-years away from Earth. It is a boiling gas giant with the size of Saturn that revolves around its host star at an outrageously close distance. Though the planet's thick atmosphere is dominated by thick clouds containing sulfur and silicates, including sulfur dioxide, researchers were still able to detect carbon dioxide in its atmosphere using Webb's main camera and two of its spectrographs. This is the first time the gas has ever been discovered in an exoplanet's atmosphere. The knowledge gained about the planet's atmosphere also allowed researchers to draw conclusions about some aspects of its genesis and history. As a result of the collision of smaller planetesimals, the planet is thought to have formed much farther from its star than it is now, as evidenced by the fact that it has more oxygen than carbon in its atmosphere. Titan James Webb has also helped shed light on Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Titan is quite unusual and fascinating as it has rivers, lakes, and seas made of liquid methane and ethane, as well as rock, built of water ice. It is also the only moon in our solar system with a thick, hazy atmosphere that is dotted with methane clouds. Scientists caught a glimpse of some of those clouds when Webb collected atmospheric data from the Moon. This helped scientists to discover that the telescope had actually recorded two clouds, including one above Kraken Mare, the largest sea on the Moon. The researchers were so fascinated that they got in touch with Hawaii's Keck Observatory, which was able to study Titan just two days later. In the data from Keck Observatory, the cloud over Kraken Mare is still there, but it is of a different shape, indicating that it either changed or another cloud migrated into the same location. The team anticipates using information like this to map Titan's haze and identify new gases in the Moon's atmosphere. The White Dwarf The Southern Ring Nebula has never been regarded as particularly remarkable by scientists. The assumption was that the nebula was merely a white dwarf, a dying star that had shed its outer layers, which shine brilliantly because white dwarfs emit energy waves. Yet Webb's breathtaking image of the nebula, which was made public along with its initial images and data, made it abundantly evident that it wasn't that easy. The near-infrared camera and the mid-infrared instrument installed inside Webb helped capture an image of the cloud. With MIRI, scientists discovered that the white dwarf was not invisible in that wavelength as they had anticipated, but rather was burning red and encircled by a haze of chilly gas. The nebula hiding a third star that was the source of the gas seemed to be the only reasonable explanation. The primary camera of the telescope also photographed fascinating shells around the nebula's periphery, resembling those near WR140. Being an infrared telescope, Webb has the advantage of looking through dust to uncover objects that are obscured from other telescopes like Hubble. One of the major examples of this was an image of two galaxies merging that Webb was able to take, but Hubble had missed. This was a region of intensive star formation, which scientists claim is making stars 20 times faster than in our own galaxy. The merging galaxies, designated IC 1623, was concealed from Hubble by a thick layer of dust. According to scientists, the merging of the galaxies, which is occurring approximately 270 million light-years from Earth, may also be producing a supermassive black hole, which is not apparent in the Webb image. All in all, there are now more than 3,000 confirmed planets orbiting far-off stars, since the first exoplanets were found by scientists in the 1990s. Yet, only about a dozen of these have been directly imaged. 
The majority of exoplanets are so far away that they can only be seen when their host star's light dims as the planet passes in front of it. However, with James Webb Space Telescope, space exploration is poised to alter how we perceive the cosmos fundamentally. That is it from today's video. We hope you enjoyed the content of the video, if you did, show some love and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.